District Attorney Josh Marquis for the No on Measure 91 campaign has not read Measure 91. There's nothing in there about how the things are going to be packaged like you've seen. Section 7, paragraphs 1 and 2A grant OLCC all the regulatory authority over sales and production. There's nothing that says how it can be marketed. There's nothing that says how many hundreds of stores there can be in Portland. Section 7, paragraphs 2F and G grant OLCC authority to regulate and even ban marijuana advertising. Section 29, paragraph 2A grants OLCC authority to limit the number of pot shops in a city or county. And in fact, it's a two-pronged uh, thing. One is, has, has the OLCC, which has done such a great job of keeping alcohol out of the can hands of teenagers. Teen drinking dropped from one-half to one-third in the last seven years. We'll, we'll regulate marijuana for commercial sale, but then completely unregulated and untaxed, people will be able to have eight ounces of marijuana, which is about 400 joints. Section 6, paragraph 1 only allows eight ounces of marijuana in the home if one is growing four plants. We actually rolled it to find out. Um, a, a pound of edibles, um, an ounce of hash oil, 72 ounces of cannabis liquid, which I never even heard of, and each household can grow four plants. Oregon has the same public possession, edibles, and liquid limits as Washington, and lower home grow, home possession, and hash oil limits than Colorado. Measure 91 has taken the best from Colorado and Washington laws and improved them. Learn the facts. Vote yes on Measure 91. This advertisement produced by the Russ Bellow Show and is not sponsored or endorsed by the Yes on Measure 91 campaign.